Whoever needs to hear this today, I hope you hear this. I hope your heart hears this and I hope you take action. You cannot begin to heal if you are sitting in the same thing that infected you in the first place. If there's infection in the body, the body will not close up, it will not heal, it doesn't want to trap that in there. It, it tries to secrete it out. You cannot be in the company of the very people who have given you your lesson. You've now got to learn that lesson by moving forward. To do that, you have to be not fearful of being alone or lonely. To accomplish this, this is where you are your best friend. This is where you rid yourself of all of the words, the extreme behaviors, the abuse maybe, that has made you believe some things about yourself that, that are just a reflection of someone else and not actually yours. This is where you take time to strip those away and fall in love with self. Get to know self so well so that you are not afraid to be alone. You're not afraid to hear those voices, those thoughts of your consciousness. No, you get excited for the opportunity to shut the door, be by yourself and truly explore self and find it exciting, find it loving, find it beautiful, find it fulfilling. When this happens, you actually find yourself in less and less toxic spaces for less amount of time because you aren't afraid of seeing those blazing red flags that are warning you throughout to get out, move away, don't do this, don't enter into this energetic contract or physical contract if marriage is included. You don't fear that anymore. So you, your eyes are open. You're not coercing yourself to close your eyes, to be blind to the red flags in order to not feel that fear of that loneliness of being alone because you have learned to thrive in it. You are driven by it. It's where your ideas for the next day come. It's where your manifestations of the people who truly are balanced with your frequency come in. Because it's at that moment that that time alone with self doesn't become a punishment. It doesn't become solitary. It becomes a gift. It becomes a pleasure. Balancing that then with the outward connections with others is so much more whole and truthful and real. So whoever needs to hear this today, I hope it reaches your heart, it, it reaches your root, your drive, and you're able to drive enough energy from that root, applying yourself in a way that is committed to get into no self not the projections other people have put on you that you've buried deep down there in that root energy point, but to strip those away. Like a monthly menstruation, men and women, to strip that, that, those projections away. Really delve in there with that energetic force and drive up enough energy to reach here, to be able for you to See you the way others who have a true heart see you in a beautiful and loving way. Much love.